At a New York launch event, LG unveiled the V40 Thin Q, its third premium phone of the year, next to the V35 Thin Q and G7. Right away, you'll notice that the most eye-catching thing about the V40 is that it has a total of five cameras, three rear-facing cameras and two front-facing cameras. The rear setup includes a 12 megapixel standard lens with optical image stabilization, a 16 megapixel wide angle lens, and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 2x zoom. With these two other cameras, you can take a photo with a wide field of view so you could fit more content in each frame, and you could also take dramatic, bokeh style portraits. Speaking of portraits, the V40 has a bunch of lighting tools too, similar to the iPhone, which adds studio-like qualities to your photos. One tool, called Triple Shot, takes a picture on all three cameras with a single tap of the shutter. It saves it as three separate images as well as a moving GIF. There's also CineShot, which enables you to make hypnotizing animated cinemagraphs that you can share. On the front are a 5 megapixel and an 8 megapixel camera. Together, they take portrait shots as well, and you can adjust the background blur after you take a photo. You'll also get Google Lens to look up objects and landmarks, and native AI features that optimize camera settings. Besides the camera, the V40 has a sizable 6.4-inch display, a water-resistant design, a headphone jack, and a Google Assistant shortcut button, which you can't reprogram to launch anything else, unfortunately. If you love photography, the V40 is worth considering for its shooting options and high-end specs. But if you're more of a casual user, the phone can be a bit overwhelming. There are two AI systems baked in here, for instance, and you may end up using some tools, like CineShot, only once in a while. Also, when it comes to image quality, a phone, like the iPhone XS Max, takes comparable and at times superior photos, but it's more straightforward to use. Lastly, keep in mind that other Android phones, including the Pixel 3 and OnePlus 6T, are expected right around the corner. So if you can, wait a bit, then weigh all your options until after October.